Hey everybody, this is going to get you ready for your upcoming test. This is an integrated math three test on modules uh, three and four. Let's get started here. So it's kind of a long one here, you guys, but I'm going to split this up into two days in my class, okay? All right, so here's uh, the first part. So right triangle ABC is shown right there. So sketch the figure that's created by rotating the triangle around line L. So can you imagine if I can take this and rotate it around? You know what it's going to make? It's going to make that cone right there, okay? All right, so what's the diameter of this new figure right there, okay? Well, this was 8 right there, which means this is 8, and that's 8, so the diameter would be 16 right there, okay? All right, and then um, uh, what's the height of this figure? Okay, well, we got a P-triple happening right there, so an 8, 15, 17 P-triple right there, so the height is going to be... 15. 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. And if you didn't know how to do that, just call that x. 8 squared plus x squared equals 17 squared. So you get x squared plus 64 equals 289, and you subtract that, you get 225, okay? So name the figure. It's called a cone right there, okay? Piece of cake. All right, so uh, find the surface area of this cone. Okay, well, the surface area is pi r l uh, plus pi r squared. Okay, so we plug in uh, the R and the L, and we crank that out, and we get 64 pi. Don't forget, and then, uh, I'm sorry, there's supposed to be a 64 pi plus. That's supposed to be a plus sign right there. I'm sorry. So 64, um, uh, 136 pi plus 64 pi equals that 200 pi right there, okay? Meters squared, okay? All right, you guys, so given this net figure, draw the solid, okay? So if we folded this up, folded this up, folded this up, and folded this up, it would it would give us, um, uh, 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 it would give us um, a square pyramid right there. I thought I drew that. I guess I didn't. But anyways, can you draw a square pyramid going up? I thought I drew that. I'll do that in class. Anyways, don't say it's just a... Uh, don't say it's just a pyramid, it's a square pyramid because of all the markings right here, okay? So what's the surface area of this square pyramid? Well, it's the base plus one-half PL, okay? And so, um, so it's going to be the base plus uh, one-half the perimeter. The perimeter is eight for these 18s, okay? And um, uh, so that's uh, 18 squared. And then uh, the L is this thing right here. This is the slant height right here, okay? Uh, it's the height of these triangles. So uh, th think of this, you guys. Remember, um, a triangle is one-half base times height. One-half base times height. One-half this base times height. And same with this one. Or we can do uh, one-half the perimeter times this height right here. And that's called our slant height right there. So that's, that's how we got that formula right there. And don't forget to add the base in right there, okay? So we get uh, 756 inches squared right there. Okay, so in this uh, figure uh, are connected cones. Um, uh, so let's answer each of these questions with this one. So what is the shape of the cross section section formed by a plane that intersects one of the cones and is parallel to the base? Well, it's end up going to be a circle. Can you see? I, I don't have a, I can't slice it, but if I could slice it right there, it's going to make another circle going right through there. Okay. Find the surface area of the composite figure and give both the exact answer and the answer rounded to the nearest tenth. Surface area is lateral area plus lateral area. So pi RL plus pi RL, okay? So let's go ahead and plug that in, and we're going to get, uh, it's going to come out to 287 pi inches squared, which is close to 901.6 inches squared. All right, find the surface area of this composite figure with the bases of regular hexagons, okay? So again, lateral area and lateral area. We're not including the base in here because it's inside. We're just doing the whole outside right there. Okay, lateral area of a prism is one-half the perimeter times the slant height. Looks like the slant height is this 14 right here. Okay, so it looks like uh, each side of this regular hexagon is 5, so the perimeter is 5 times 6. And then so one-half uh, uh, PL plus one-half PL, and we get that. And so if uh, we multiply that out, we get 330 centimeters squared. Okay, all right, so a regular hexagon has side 10 meters. If each side is tripled, explain the effects of the perimeter. Well, the perimeter is also going to be tripled. It's going to be the same. 
Okay, so the area is going to be, since triple means times 3, then the area is going to be 3 squared. So it's going to be 9 times as big, okay? Remember the scale factor lesson we did? Okay, use this figure to answer this. So here's a square pyramid right here. Find the slant height right out here. Okay, so if we drew this right here, it's going to be half of this, so it's going to be 8. So again, we have another 8, 15, 17 right triangle right there. So the slant height is, is 17 right there. Find the lateral area. That is 1 half PL. The perimeter is those four 16s right there, so we get 64. And then so 1 half 64 times 17, I get 544 feet squared. Find the surface area. Well, we just got to add the base. So it's a 544 plus 16 squared. So we get, um, uh, when we add that, we get 800 feet squared, okay? All right, uh, find the volume. Well, the volume is one-third the area of the base times the height, okay? So the, uh, put that together, and we get 1,280 feet cubed. Okay, if all the dimensions of the pyramid are doubled, how will that change the surface area and the volume? And then find the new surface area and the volume. Okay, well, if it's doubled, that means times 2. So surface area, uh, that's our scale factor, um, is times 2. So um, uh, the surface area is going to be 2 squared or 4 times as big. And the, and the volume is going to be 2 cubed or 8 times as big. So we'll take our, our surface area uh, uh, answer that we had from before, multiply it times 4. Four, and our volume answer from above, multiply it times 8, and we get those answers right there. Okay, uh, let's see. I got another sorry, blank page right there. Stan has two conical, uh, I'm sorry, conical, cylindrical containers, uh, one with a diameter of 14 centimeters and another with a diameter of 16 centimeters. Find the ratio of paint that's needed. Uh, to uh, uh, to match each container right there. Well, first, this is, get our scale factor. So this is a surface area question, and your surface area is your scale factor squared. Okay, so we find the scale factor, which is 14 over 16 is 7 eighths, and we square that. So uh, it's going to be 49 60 fourths as big. Okay. Um, so the ratio, I'm sorry, it's going to, that's going to be the ratio of the, of the areas right there. So that's the, um, uh, the ratio of the paint needed is 49 64. So these three dots in math means therefore, by the way. So that three dots always means therefore. All right. So then the, um, uh, let's see, find the ratio of water needed to fill these containers. Well, that's going to be a volume question, which is our scale factor cubed. So our scale factor is still seven eighths cubed. Okay, so that equals the ratio of the water to fill each container right there, okay? All right, so Mount Pilot covers a triangular area with sides 15 miles, 8 uh, miles, and 17 miles. Its population is 98,000 people. Find its population density. Okay, well, population density is, is uh, population divided by area, okay? So this is a right triangle because these are numbers for a right triangle. So, so the area of a right triangle is one-half base times height, okay? So there's the area, so the population density is the division of those, so we get about 1,633 people per square mile. Okay, note you might be given the population density, so you might be given this number and, um, and the area of the land, and so you can find the population by making this over 1 and then cross-multiplying, okay? So just be aware, you might see something like that. A conical candle is to be made, a cone, a candle cone, is to be made from 240 uh, cubic inches of wax. If the candle's height is three times its diameter, what's the radius and the height uh, that it should have to the nearest tenth? Okay, so volumes of cones are one-third pi r squared h, where the height is three times the diameter, and since the diameter is 2r, then the height is 6r. So we'll plug that in for height, and we get uh, the volume is 2 pi r cubed. Now set that equal to 240 and divide both sides by 2 pi. So there's r cubed, so, uh, which is about uh, 38.6, right, or 38.2. So we're going to cube root that. So the radius is about 3.4 inches, and the height, we multiply that by 6, is about 20.4. Twenty point four inches. All right. Okay, guys. I hope you do well on the test and, and take care.